morning, good Friday morning to you. Uh, welcome to Sound Check with Dr. Greta Pope. My name is Jess Jones. I am the Center Director with the Coffer Resource Center based here in Chicago, Illinois. We exist to support union performers in the pursuit of work. And today that looks like this, uh, joining us for this conversation series. Um, before we get started a little bit about us, uh, we have been doing a number of virtual programs throughout this past year of the pandemic. And so it is easier than ever to stay plugged in and stay connected with us. Um, if that is something that you would like to do and you do not already uh, partake in our program offerings, please connect with us. You can do that by subscribing to our newsletter at coffercenterchicago.com. Uh, head to our website. There's a button right down in the middle said the coffer headliner. That is where you head to uh, subscribe and our information will come direct to your inbox so you do not have to go looking for it uh, when we have new program offerings for you to RSVP for. Um, if you are more social in nature, we encourage you to also follow us on social media at Coffer Center um, on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you can stay tuned in there. We have a program of photos, uh, new RSVP opportunities and things of that sort for you there as well. So we encourage you to stay connected with us because we'd love to have you at a future event. Uh, it is it is Friday. It is, you know, this is this is one of my favorite parts of the week is sitting back and having a conversation. Um, you know, I feel like we've all been here for quite some time, but even still, it's never something that I uh, Never something that I miss having space for in my week is the opportunity to connect with creatives and to listen to what they've been up to. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to invite my friend, Dr. Greta Pope to the conversation. Um, I, am, I am wondering, I, I, I wonder if at this point, Greta, we can even say how many weeks we've been doing this together. Cause I was trying to think of it this morning and I feel like you've become kind of a placeholder, you know, in my pandemic life now with seeing each other for our Friday morning kind of coffee connection here. That's right, that's right. It's been great. You know, I don't know how many weeks but I think we've been doing it since November. So yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, we'll count them and we'll be able to report this we'll, accurately we'll, next week. I was gonna say, we'll have a, we'll have a report <laughs> yeah. next time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you said just before we went live, I'm like, it's so true. It's like, I think even because we were a little bit delayed today because we had some technical snafus, myself included. My my trusty steed of a computer was just like this morning, like did not want to do it. And you're like, I think even our computers are tired at this point. Yeah, you know? I think they are. They are fatigued. And that <laughs> we may have to replace our computers after the pandemic is over. I'm on my computer all day, every day. You know, I mean, it's really getting a workout, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be, I'll be interested to hear you all speak about what this pandemic life has been like for our guests today as well. But I think you make a good point. I think when we're done today, I may boot, power down this computer, give it some nice loving caresses mm -hmm. and make sure it knows that I'm grateful for all the extra overtime it's been doing over this past uh, number of months for us. But um, all that said, I am, I am in increasingly grateful for it as well because it allows us this space um you know i mean i try to even think about what this world would be like if we didn't have zoom during this moment of our lives you know horrible. or any of these types of opportunities yeah. to connect with each other so as tired as my computer is i'm grateful for what it's capable of and i am grateful for this opportunity through this computer to sit with you to sit with guests to be part of this conversation so with gratitude and anticipation i turn over the hour <laughs> to you Okay, well, thank you. And I'm sure that your computer will be grateful when you give it a rest. I'm sure that it will. Soon enough, soon enough. <laughs> well, good morning and welcome to Soundcheck. I'm Dr. Greta Pope, and I'm so excited to have this opportunity to chat with creatives from a variety of disciplines about their professional journey. Thanks so much for joining us today. We are right now in the midst of a pandemic that has changed all of our lives and the ways in which we work. We will use this forum to share our thoughts, our feelings, and best practices for surviving this challenging time. My guests today are husband and wife team, Kevin and Arlette Carr. Kevin and Arlette are both singers, and they are very active on the sag Actress Singers Committee. Arlette has been singing since she was six years old and has developed over the years a very powerful voice. She and Kevin sing with a group called Joe Jr. and Friends. 
And Joe that we're talking about is none other than our good friend, Joe Wright. Kevin has been a singer for many years and is affectionately called the Smooth Balladeer, which by the way, is his email address. I think that is very cool. <laughs> Kevin has also done commercials and has had numerous parts as a stand-in or an extra for television shows produced in Chicago. Kevin appeared in the Netflix episode TV show, Easy, and he's also had a role in the Comedy Central episodic TV show, Southside. It is my pleasure to welcome these two lovely people to Soundcheck. Thanks, you guys, for joining me today. Uh, Have fun. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you, thank thank you, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Thank you so much. You know, much. you guys look spectacular. Before we went live, I said you look like movie stars. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I also commented that you are color coordinated. And then it occurred to me that I, too, am color coordinated. <laughs> uh -oh. And none of this for our for our viewers, none of this was planned. So no, no. we're going to have a good time. So a little synchronicity going on here. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So tell us. What is marriage like for two creative people living together? You work different hours, different projects. How have you managed your time and your work schedule and your marriage from that perspective? Love my wife house. <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's the safe move, Kevin. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Hey, uh... <laughs> he's he's pretty easy going. Always have been. So. Living here, it, I had to get used to it for a little bit because I got used to being out all the time. So mm -hmm. being at home and uh, um, he was, we were here together for what, two months? Yeah. Is it he didn't work at all? So it, it was kind of interesting. I, I, I was yeah. like, okay, baby, I need my quiet time. But the television was going and I was like, okay. But then I go to my room close the door and and either play my switch game because <laughs> i'm a switch out i'm a game addict okay so I play that and i would let him do his thing and then he was like baby where we gonna eat i'm like okay i want to fix food and, and then uh, that, that's pretty much how it was going for a while and then when he <laughs> when he started back working i was like oh it is really quiet and <laughs> lonely <laughs> where is he <laughs> like, I got, yeah i got kind of weird for me like, uh, <laughs> but but we we survived and, and it, it's it's great uh, it's such a different thing now you know to be doing everything virtual yeah, yeah. And, and, and when I say everything virtual, it's virtual. I, yeah. I shop virtual. Yeah, yeah. I have the center every day as a package coming. He'll, he'll, and I try to beat him. I try my best to beat the hilarious. <laughs> and he'll go, baby, coming in the house with my packages. I'm like, darn. Why don't they ring the doorbell so I know that he is Packages for Arna M. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious. Well, you know, you have to you have to amuse yourself somehow, right? Yeah, you do. You really do. You yeah. do. So, Kevin, how about you? What do, how's, how's it been for you? You know, it's been really good because I drive on this. I work for myself. So that's the cool thing about it. And I can take off or do whatever I got to do. So I've been driving for Uber for over close to six years now. Oh, good. But that gives me, it gives me the flexibility to, uh, like if I got auditions, which by the way, I had an audition about two weeks. This is the first audition I've been on for a year okay. through my agent and it was for the shy. But, you know, like you were talking about computers and dealing with the computers and everything. And I mean, I did a really good, good self tape, but it was, you know, you have to make sure you have the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, it's not the, the, the file is not real big. So, so we, I kind of, I kind of missed the deadline, but I explained to him what <laughs> happened. So, I mean, it was, it was one of those things and, and I had it, I was there, you know, but it just didn't work out like that. But, but, it, but I'm not worried about it. I mean, I yeah. was encouraged because of the fact this was a year and yeah. I got called. So, yeah. I, mean, so I know it's going to get ready to open up even more. Yes. 
Yes. And that's a good thing. And then, you know, I found out the other day somebody, well, one of my one of my family members saw me on, they saw me on Southside. And this was like 4.15 in the morning. So I don't know what channel it was. I don't, I don't have no idea, but it's like, wow, okay. Well, apparently it's still, they yeah. still, um, you know, so, but, but. That's great. We got a, I got, me and Arlette got a song. It's a song that I wrote last year called God is My Source. And uh, I'm on the cover of Music Lovers Magazine. Oh. Yeah, Music Lovers Magazine. And oh. it's, I have to send you the links and everything. Yeah, you can put it in the chat for people. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to do it. in the chat for people so that yeah, people can. that's what it is. It's, I, Cause I didn't have to, I had it, but then when we had used the phone, I had to get out of it. Oh so yeah. I'll do I'll I'll send you the I'll send you the links. Yes. And, and this and it's doing it was on she plays it on Twitter, on uh Instagram and everything. And um, you know, it's the response is really good. But she had me on the cover of Music Lovers magazine. So I'm on the cover. Wow, that's and, fantastic. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah. And then me and Joe and, and our live, we back singing for the homeless, you know, doing yeah. the, every other Sunday. And yeah. it's really rewarding. You know, it's really yeah. rewarding because, you know, we tell the people, you know, so glad to see you all. You know, we miss you and everything. Yeah. You know, they, they're That's very wonderful. excited. They, they're really, really excited. That's wonderful. Where do you do that? It's at, uh, what's the name of your church? Um, Mount Olive Church of North. Yes, yeah, right oh, off nice. of uh, uh, Harding, Harding, and uh, uh, I think it's, I, I don't know the exact, I'm going to have to get the exact yeah. answer. But yeah, it's, that's right okay. Harding in, in uh, Byron. I think the name of the street is Byron. That's wonderful. And is this a, a church service that they offer for homeless? People? Yes, yes. A lady oh, nice. called Marion Alvarado. She has a, a, a homeless, she deals with the homeless, homeless ministry. It's, it's, called, so it's called Timothy's, Timothy's, Timothy's Ministry. Ministry. Yeah, and, uh, she's been doing mind. it for, I don't know, as long as, as, she's been doing that for a long time, maybe 15, yeah. 16 yeah. years. Yeah. So we got together with her um, about, what, 10 years ago? Yeah, yeah about so, so lovely. So, yeah, hanging out with Joe, having fun. Yes. And this, this yeah. Sunday will be out there, yeah, we'll be outside. outside. So. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, so yeah hopefully. Nice. We'll keep our fingers crossed that it's nice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very nice. So yeah. That's but, great. That is so wonderful. What, you know, yes. what a great cause. That's, that's yes. wonderful. Yeah, it is. It's very I'm very sure nice. it is. I'm sure it is. That's nice. fantastic. Very nice. Yeah. That's great. So, mm. So let's let's um, talk a little bit about what your day to day business has been like during the pandemic. I mean, we kind of talked about you know your day to day life and and how Arlette hides <laughs> in the bedroom <laughs> to have some private time. But Kevin, tell us a little bit about your uh, your business. You have your own business, so tell us about that. Well, usually, what at first I used to start real early in the morning. I used to start at 3.30 in the morning. Wow. But the only reason why I did that, because at the time, you know, this was before the pandemic, and yeah. people were going to the airport, right. and when I would do, I'd get airport rides. Right. Because people want to get to the airport, but now it's different. You know, because of the pandemic, things have changed. Yes, they so have. Now I start at 6, which is really good. It's even a better time because before, when I started that early in the morning, I would be out there for a long time. But this time, I don't have to be out there for a long time because now the now the demand has caught up, and it's even more demand because now people are back working. Some yes. jobs have come back. Yes. Some jobs have where they have the hybrid schedules and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 a lot more people out than the restaurants opening up. Mm -hmm. But they got, I think they're at 50% capacity. And yeah. then now you got the ball games, you got people, yeah. games, which is really nice because now I think they can, there's like 10,000 people that can go to the ball games, you know. Yeah. So yeah, that's at the time that I start, I'm out there, I'm not out there for very long and it works out really good for me. So usually okay. what I'll do is do that and come home. 
and just, you know, just chill and take care of some things. Or if I have to, um, you know, if I have to take care of something during the day, that's why I like the flexibility of it, that I can do it and I don't have to be like, well, I got to, I got to, okay, I got to make sure I get back before lunchtime, you know, things like that. Yeah. So it yeah. really makes things, working for yourself, it makes things a lot easier. Yeah. You know, you could do some stuff, you could take care of your business, you know. So, yeah. so that's how it's been for me. It was slow for a while, but now I started yeah. to pick it up. That's great. That's great. You know, driving for Uber is a great job for yes. people that are yeah. acting and auditioning yep. and that kind of thing mm -hmm. it's, yes. you know, it's a wonderful opportunity because you can't yes. control your time yes and yes. even during the times and I, and I might add even during the times that I was out there and I had auditions see that gave me that gave me opportunity okay I got audition at 12 o'clock okay boom right you know, I just shut the phone off you know shut the app off I mean and then go do my audition go turn it back on do my thing that's fantastic. And yeah. you don't even have to go back home or anywhere to do it. You get in your car and you turn your thing on and that's it. Yeah, that's fantastic. it. That's it. Fantastic. So, yeah. Yeah, well, good for you. I'm I'm glad to know that, you know, things have, have worked out well for you. Oh, during yeah. Your yeah, it has. It yeah. really has. It's been a blessing. You know, it's truly yeah. it's been a blessing because, like I said, it's, it's you know, because I you, you see people, you know, you just see where some places, and I even noticed this even even in uh, around the Gold Coast, I noticed a lot of restaurants, well-known restaurants that I used to see, those places are closed down. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you see a for sale sign. Yeah, it's so Coast, sad. It's, yeah, it's, it's, so it's sad. Because oh, yeah. you know, yeah. when you see that it was jumping, yeah. the place was jumping. Yeah, and they just couldn't hang on. They didn't yeah. hang on yeah. Through yeah. this pandemic. It has been so hard on mm -hmm. so many people. And I think that once the pandemic is over, mm -hmm. we will hear all kinds of stories of people oh, in yeah. all kinds of different businesses oh, yeah. and different life um, stations and places and so forth that have all struggled in different ways that we now can't even conceive of. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes. You know, it, this has just been a hard time for mm -hmm. everyone. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so hopefully we are round in that corner and mm -hmm. things are going to be yeah. better and, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, the vaccines yeah. are going to be working and we're going to be able to mm -hmm. move beyond this. Mm -hmm. you know, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, so tell me, have either of you guys started any new projects during this time? And are you knitting or anything? <laughs> she, <laughs> got, she writing a book. Oh, you're writing a book. She's writing yeah. a book. I, am, I, I I did not know that I had a talent to write as a novelist. Good. So it, it, it's funny because my 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 journey has been going on for a year. So i i it's a um fantasy fantasy fictional novel. It's wow. called, um uh Sacred, Sacred Blood. Sacred uh, the Blood. beginning. Okay. And it's, 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 I think it's a very cute story that will grab people um this is it's just about a, it's a young girl but she's gonna go through these phases in life so book one is basically talking about her young years and what leads up to all the other things that's gonna happen in her world now it was so funny because it kind of started out as a dream i had this because i'm a dreamer okay I do a lot of dreaming so i I just elaborated on it and I started writing stuff down and I was like, oh, okay. So then my first, I think my first uh, chapter of it, I called my mom and I said, mom, I, I want you to hear something. So I read to her and she was like, oh my God. Oh wow, my God. she loved it. I said, uh, are you just saying this because I'm your baby? <laughs> And she was like, no, no, no. You just read to me for two hours and I heard everything you said. Wow. I, I read to my, my my daughter and my son and they really, really like it. So okay. it's been a journey. I've had my ups and downs with it. Yeah. But now I'm on the right, I'm, I'm like at the end, but it was so funny. I, I discovered something today, yesterday, and I went into panic mode and I was like, I'm trying to really finish this, Scott. You got to help yeah. me now. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm so close to the end, and then I, then I got to find an editor. So yeah, That's great. You know, the creative process is so difficult. Oh, yeah. Difficult. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're you're drawing up on all kinds of uh, all kinds of things and experiences and intellect, mm -hmm. all, yes. all kinds of. Yeah. Things. Well, I am so proud of you. So tell us the name of it again. Maybe just it's called Sacred Blood. Sacred Blood. Okay. And, uh, Sacred Blood. The beginning. The beginning. Okay. The begin yeah. Sacred we Blood. The beginning. We will be looking for it. We will be yes. looking for it. Yes. yes. I feel so I, it's, it's like. I'm so close to the end because now everybody's calling me. Yeah. I'm just giving them bits and pieces of this. And yeah. I'm like, Lucia calls me, Sissy, <laughs> you left me in a cliffhanger. <laughs> when are you going to finish this book? That's great. And I was like, oh, That's so great. it's so very, everybody's so encouraging to me. And that's yeah. a blessing because I, at first I was very timid about I'm like, a writer? I'm yeah. like, oh my God, I know you give us all these gifts and talents, but writing so i've been i've been absorbed in, and it's it's been fun because i never thought that i would be a writer that's wonderful Arla. that is wonderful so so what is your pen name what name are you using you know what i, I um that's a good question I, I haven't gotten to that yet huh <laughs> that's a very good that question. is a very good question i what i was going to do was I was gonna have uh, this. Uh, what's the um? Oh, oh, it's called my sweet melody, and I was gonna use it as a um, like a publishing kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, I that's that's a very good thing. I didn't yeah. think something to think about. Yeah, something yeah. to think about. I, yeah, because I, I don't know. Uh, I, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I did not think about that, but yeah, yeah. I'm writing that down. Yeah. <laughs> Take note here. <laughs> so Kevin, have you started any new projects during this time? No, I haven't. I haven't. What uh what I'm doing, um uh, I'm looking at I really would like and 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 I'm 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 still working on because I because I am working on even maybe even segueing out of Uber and doing delivery and I'm I'm working on that. But mm -hmm. what I really would like, I really would like to do the uh, audio books. That's one of my, that's one yeah. of the big things I really would like. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm gonna get him to be a voice of one of my yes. characters. I do it audio. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do, do the audio. That's too. wonderful. Yeah, do that's an wonderful. audio book because you know Barbara, who was teaching us voice for a while, and you know getting back in Barbara's just. I don't, I, she's phenomenal. You know? Yeah, yeah. I interviewed her a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month yeah. ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Gotta give her a shout out. <laughs> she, yeah. and, uh, you know, she told me, she kept telling me, she said, well, why don't you, you know, do mm -hmm. it? Don't, don't, you know, do it. You, she said, you should do it. And, and I mean, coming from somebody like her, mm -hmm. you know, and even like yourself, you know, who I consider you, a consummate professional because you, you always, man. I mean, just <laughs> thank you. you, guys. you so I nice. really appreciate. We love you. It. Yeah, we love I, well, I love you too. I love yeah. you too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say that. I gotta give a shout out to you as well because you, you know, you. Every even when we went to see you perform, it was just man. It was that was cool. That was awesome. That thank was you. cool. I appreciate so much that you guys came. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys, good friends, and and now and now we're synchronous because we're like all doing the same color, and you know our minds are doing the right. That's right. It's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's yeah, that's what I'm looking at. You know, really bunkering yeah. down. You yeah. know, to do something like because I really would yeah. like. It. I, I really I, I know I would enjoy doing it. You know, yeah, that's yeah. great. I'm sure you would. I'm mm -hmm. sure you would. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. So Arlette, I'm going to ask you about your book. Do you have someone kind of guiding you through this process of you know, you know somebody? <laughs> well, well, we'll we'll chat offline. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Because you want to you know, yeah. 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 not fiction though, but still it's you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so
So what have other creatives that you know been doing to keep themselves busy during this time? Have you heard about any cool things that any of your friends or any other people that you know are doing? Not really. Um, we try to keep up with our kids and yeah. our kids. Yeah. So uh, that, that's a handful, I'm sure. That's enough. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, when they come over, it's like free game frog on. game on, and and they, 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 those kids. Oh, <laughs> that's great. I love them. I love them. I love them. But they're busy. They're busy as kids should be. Mm -hmm. I mean, but, yeah. they, but yeah. they're but they're teenagers, and and they have a lot of needs. Yeah. And, and it all costs money. <laughs> And I tell you, I spend a whole lot of money when they come to my yes, house. I know. And they, and they, and they trick me too. And then like, I have a proposal for you. I'm like, a proposal? What's the proposal? Well, if you uh, if you assign me a job, then can I work in um and and you buy me a game? I'm like, oh, okay. I go buy the game. I don't get no work done. No work is done. Even, you you got to get the work first. Yeah. Right, that's I, right. That's next time. Right. Got to get the work. <laughs> yes. I will. You you gonna do what you told me you gonna do? So I buy you a game. Yes, I want to see it completed. Exactly. I want the party for the horse. I want the game. It's like cool, Danny. Cool, Danny and this is great. No work got done at all. <laughs> You shyster me. Yeah, I was like, you shyster me. No, I didn't shyster you, in it. I said, well, well, you didn't help me with my office. It was my office. Mm. So we had, we had turned the office into our storage space. And then I said, okay, I need to get the office clean so I can just let my creative juices flow in now. And I said, okay, when you come over this weekend, I, I wasn't even going to ask them. And he brought the proposal to me. And I was like, oh, well, you can help me clean my office. Okay, then, then, whole weekend. <laughs> Nothing got done. I said, so you were, you shyster to me out of. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. That is cute. Well, he's yeah. a good negotiator. That's, you know, you have to look That's on right. the bright side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's funny. And my daughter was like, Mom, you didn't <laughs> think about him that game. Because, see, this is the one that uh, uh, I call it my little chocolate drop. Because oh. he's a twin, but his twin is lighter. So they're not identical. Yeah. So this is the one that's just, he he's doing stuff. So they went on a trip, like, in January. Mm -hmm. They took their game because I bought them yeah. games. I bought all this stuff. We spent a lot of money. He gets on the plane. He loses all the game cartridges. Oh no! Like over four hundred dollars worth of game. Oh, cartridges. oh no! So now he's playing games with all of us. So he tells his mom oh. he only lost this game, oh, but then he tells me he lost this game. And I'm trying. We're trying to put this thing together. Oh. Said, so tell me the truth. Did you lose all your games on the plane? Well, uh, yeah. I said, oh. Gosh. I said so. Yeah, that's what we were and then my daughter's like, yeah. "Don't buy him nothing, mom, because yeah. I told him, I told him, Jesus, and of course, you know, and it's a lot of money. So this is where he calls me randomly and goes, Nan, Nan, I have a proposal. Oh, <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah, you got to get the work first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, that's he, right. he cheated, me. Work, he cheated so. me out of out of a day's work because. <laughs> It, nothing happened. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> so, so what are your thoughts about how we as actors, broadcasters, singers, entertainers, and producers of entertainment should be planning for today and tomorrow with regard to our careers? What do you think that the future will look like for us? Kevin, what are your thoughts about that? My thoughts is, you know, just an indication of... Uh, doing the, even though they, because I took a class, I took a class at Crawford Center for self-tape. It was very good. The guy that taught that class, I think that's going to be the norm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's going to be the norm because, you know, because of the, even, 
And well, I'll say it like this, because of the pandemic, it's really going to be the norm. But I think even once afterwards, that's mm-hmm. going to be the norm because it makes it more convenient. Yeah. And everything. Yeah. And then, and then it, it, all the time I had to go to like a, to like a, a, a Cragen, that's Cargan and Ross, that's one of them, and O'Connor and everything, go to those yeah. places. It's always, you always have so many people there. And yeah. I think they're probably going to limit. They might, I think they might have it. Maybe they might stagger it. I think that's a thing. Yeah. They have maybe one or two people come. Yes, at a time. You know, mm-hmm. do it like that because before yeah. it would always be every time I come, it would be not a whole lot, but it would be enough people where I don't think they would want, you know, to have all those people all in one place. But I yeah. guess probably too, once everybody get vaccinated, yes. they change. But I think up until this point, I think that's what's going to happen. That's yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I, I think there will be yeah. a lot more um, uh, responsibility on the yeah. art the performer yes. To, yes. Uh, to prepare the audition, mm-hmm. you know, the voice yeah. of things. You know, people yeah. have studios in their homes. They are right. getting broadcast quality yeah. products, yeah. and mm-hmm. they, they are then able to provide that product directly to the client. You know, mm-hmm. so yes. you know, of course, yes. direction, but I mean, yes. but, but it's cutting out a lot of other things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be good for those other things. You know, for those other things that are being yeah. cut out. But but I think mm-hmm. I think you're right. I think that is uh, that's yeah. certainly a yeah, way that's my it. assessment of it because it it seems like um, you know even you know because I I've talked to people that work that have worked from home. During the pandemic, I think that's probably going to be the same thing. They'll probably have a hybrid situation where they'll work two days out the week, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. three days coming in or vice versa. You know, that, that seems like that's going to be. And I think that the jobs are getting used to that as well. I think you're right. They're having uh, the, and it's saving them money. You know, yeah. it's going yeah. to be, you know, a give and take of it. That's what I think. You're right. You're, you're right. It is saving the money. But one thing that, you know, that I was thinking about, you know, what about all the real estate, like all the offices that had people coming in there every day, and now they're going to have a hybrid situation where they may not need as much office space. Yeah. So what is that going to do to the downtown and the city landscape? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's just, Great it's like, point. you know, we have no idea how it's all going to pan out once it's mm-hmm. open. Yeah. You know, really. But I miss us getting together. I hope we can get together soon because I, I enjoy it. I always, ever since I've been in the Singers Committee, I always enjoy yeah. when we get together. We have so much fun. We do you have know? fun and we do we good have a things. a lot of fun and, and, and it's yeah. wonderful working, you know, all of, you know, super talented, two, super yeah. talented people, man. It, it's yeah. wonderful. wonderful. Yeah, and it's just fun to be able to talk about you know, what we've been doing or right. what's going on That's or right. some music or whatever. It's just, uh, yeah. it's, it's a great, it a great committee and mm-hmm. I miss it as well. I look forward to when we can get back together, hopefully yes. soon. And maybe yeah. we can put a bug in in, in uh, Joe and Joan's ear that we need to do like another Zoom thing. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I really yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah, I do too. I Ooh. do too. Ooh. Um, so uh, you already told us about your, your work with Joe Jr. and friends that you're doing, um, homeless, uh, providing entertainment for homeless people. Are, are you singing gospel? Is it all religious music? Yeah, it's yeah. contemporary, it's gospel. contemporary gospel. Yeah, contemporary. We'll throw in, we'll throw in songs, we'll throw in songs that, that are not actually gospel songs, mm-hmm. but they fit the they're conducive yeah. to what yeah. you know yeah. what what the, what it's about yeah, you know we do because, uh, one of the songs you know. uh is a uh, uh, lovely day oh so, yeah. yeah yeah you know we we'll throw that in yeah, yeah you know, that's great and i mean it and, and it works really well but you know it will make it conducive to, to what you know one yeah. Want to hear? Yeah. And it's encouraging for them, and yes, it is. spiritual yeah. in its own way, and you know, it, yeah. it's good. Yeah. It's good. Yes. Yeah. So now, many organizations and venues are hosting virtual performances, 
Have you guys done any virtual performances with Joe Jr. or in any other situation? Do you think that this will no. become a permanent part of the entertainment landscape? Or do you no. think this is something that'll be done once the pandemic is done? I'll let you answer that. We haven't been doing anything like that. Well, with Timothy's ministry, um, we hadn't done anything for a, a while. And then uh, I think back, what, November? Yeah. La last November, she asked us to come. Mm -hmm. And they had it set up where everybody was six feet apart and everything. Mm -hmm. So we've basically been doing a live situation yeah. as opposed to a virtual thing. Yeah. And I would imagine that a lot of those people probably don't have access to devices to be able to see something that right. yeah yeah that's so true. yeah so that's yeah true. that's what we've been doing um to do something virtual that would be kind of neat yeah, uh, i don't yeah. know uh who we would do it for but <laughs> yeah, but it's but it's you know other people need that encouragement too you know that's people true. are so sad now and so they are. down and yeah you're right and all kinds of things. So yeah. you know, other people could benefit from, you know, from that as well. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something to think. Yeah, about. that's something to think that's about. Very, that's very, very good point. Yeah, I mean that's real because, like you said, because what you just said, other people need that encouragement. Yes, absolutely. So they want to be able to, um, you know, even not feel like overwhelmed or like yeah. overwhelmed, and they can't, you know, they. Well, I gotta be in the house. So I got well, okay, we're gonna we're gonna uh yeah, you could be in the house, but you can see something that'll brighten your day. And yeah. That's, that's cool. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of people are overwhelmed. You know, I have um been able to be in proximity to some mothers who have young oh. children. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I offer a course on Wednesday evenings and it's called the online huddle. And I get all kinds of people joining this course, and there are several women who have young children and mm. they have expressed that they are overwhelmed. They're mm. overwhelmed. You know, now their children are beginning to go back to school, but when their kids were at home all the time and they're trying to make sure the homework gets done and prepare the meals and do the laundry and then work their own job, you know, mm. they really, you know, a lot of them really are overwhelmed. So, you, you yeah. know, what you guys are doing, I think could be helpful to a lot of people, a lot of people. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think about it like that. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did one. We did this one. Um, we did this one thing, but it wasn't Zoom. It was uh, Iron Sharpening. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, we uh, were this ministry, yeah. uh, called uh, Iron Sharpens Iron, and they invited us to sing, and, to uh, and we just did. We did two songs. Just two songs. Yeah. And, and nice. it was, uh, we did it over the um, the phone. Right. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, so and it turned out really it well. It turned out really the good. People received us very well. Mm -hmm. it, was very, it was very good. I, yeah. I enjoyed that. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. That's wonderful. So, how do you guys maintain your vocal health? Do you have any special rituals? Is there anything that you do to keep your voices in good shape? Woo! <laughs> I was well. I'm I'm always singing. I'm always singing some all the time, but. I'm, I'm, I do in between, I always do like little vocally things. Yeah. 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 I do I, little I mean, vocal ease things in I'm between, you know, and, and, and be listening, you know, <laughs> because, because I like watercolors and it's a, you know, and I like, a, I mean, I hear some of the vocalists, I just be listening to, mm -hmm. the you know, see how they sound and everything. Mm -hmm. And they've had some really good songs in it. And matter of fact, it's just one song I really like uh, by Melody Gardot, If You Love Me. That's mm -hmm. a really nice song. And just listening okay. to her voice, it just, you know, I really like how she got the really great control. Great. And everything. So yeah, I, I listen great. to her. Mm -hmm. So Kevin, have you ever sung for your passengers while you're driving? Did I ever do that? Uh, trying to think. Uh, I don't think so, because he would have told me. But you know what? Now, I, I will tell you this. I have a student. You know, uh, during the pandemic, I have gotten a lot of voice students from all uh, across the country, okay, which is very cool. Okay, uh, uh, but I have one student in Atlanta who drives for Uber. He sings for his passengers, and oh, they wow. give him tips. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 
So that's something to think about. You know, get your favorite mm -hmm. song. You could ask for requests. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have any accompaniment. That's you can cool. just sing. That's yeah. yeah, that's something. That does that. I mean, he's, he's like a special Uber guy, and he, you wow. know, wow. Yeah. That's, that's, that's something to think about. See, that's something to think you know, about. You can, you can think one way, but it's other ways too. You know, you that's have right. to really open your mind up for it. That's, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. cool. Yeah, so that's you cool. Crooning to your passages. They would love that's it. Right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how have you guys kept your spirits up during the pandemic? Arlette, why don't you tell us about you? How, I know you go in the bedroom and you close the door and you hide. That keeps your spirits up. But how else? How else have you kept your spirits up? <laughs> I do listen to music, of course, you know. If I'm in here, um, it's funny because since I've been writing this book, I, I'm like a dual personality now. I didn't know I would do that. Mm -hmm. So some days I ask myself, are you your character or are you yourself? <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's great. So That's great. And I, 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 at first I thought that was quite abnormal, but I called some people and they said that was very normal as a writer to have a... I guess altered ego or something. Yeah. No, but yeah. I do. I I I'm I'm around house singing and and cleaning and things like that. Um, yeah. I basically, if I'm feeling, um, if I'm feeling down, I have a friend. I love her. Um, she's a pastor. Uh, <clears throat> and we'll have prayer. Oh, that's and great. she's very encouraging, and she's very encouraging with the book. So that's she's. Great. Still little stuff as I say if I text her and say hey just pray for me because I'm I'm having a moment right now and she'll send me a slew of stuff to oh. really cool when she does that uh for me and it's just like that that's how I I kind of get through my my low moments that's oh. wonderful so yeah so that's yeah. how I survived this thing almost yeah. you know? Yeah, you need something. You need yeah. something. You know, yeah. and then I love the idea of you being able to, you know, when you're kind of having a hard time in this life, you can be your character. <laughs> exactly. Because my character does have, she has these interesting things. She has no worries right now. So I, I have, I, yeah. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Kevin, how about you? How have you kept yourself uplifted and kept your spirits up? Uh, just so. Um... You know, just staying, staying prayed up. But you know, I never, I don't know, Greta. I never, I never really. When I wake up in the morning, I'm always happy. As a matter of fact, you're gonna laugh. You're probably gonna laugh when I tell you this. I had a passenger, and this was like, this was about maybe, because I always try to convey. I, I'm gonna say this, and then I'll say what I was gonna say. I always try to be <clears throat> uplifted to everyone to mm -hmm. not be because I can't I just can't do it I can't get in the car I, I'll say good morning good afternoon to people and if they want to talk cool if they don't because I'm an outgoing person but mm -hmm. I don't get offended by it but I had this one passenger her and the husband this was so funny they stayed at Park Ridge and I was picking them up and taking them to the airport so then I picked them up and that this was early in the morning. I picked them up and I said, uh, you know, how are you? And then we start getting in the conversation and they said, how you feeling? I said, I feel great. You know, <laughs> and then we were talking, we were just going on and just talking about some really nice things. And she said, she said, are you like this all the time? <laughs> I said, yeah. I said, yes. Yeah. She said, well, we, maybe we may have to invite you over our house. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> That is yeah, nice. have you over by our house, you know, invite you over. I said, well, that would be nice. Tell me when. <laughs> That's great. They need you to cheer them up. That's great. <laughs> great. I've had That's several great. people say that. They said, are you just like, are you like this all the time? I said, yeah. I don't have no other reason to be. I don't, I don't feel, I just don't, you know, because there's so much stuff going on. Mm -hmm. So much, <clears throat> you know. It's just the negative. I just try to brighten people's day by being, you know, just like what you said. There's people, there's other people that need, they need that. You know, yeah. I want to be able to be a light 
and yeah. do that and just say to them, listen, you don't have to be. And I, I have done that. I've mm -hmm. encouraged people. I've talked to them and tell them, don't, don't, don't let it get you down. It's, it's going to get better. You know, you just have to, you know, just, just believe, just believe in, believe in, believe, of course, believe in God first, but believe in yourself because mm -hmm. you can make whatever you do in life, it starts with you. You know, and I would, I try to encourage you, but I really do. And, and that really, it makes me feel good to be able to do that. And mm -hmm. I, I like that. I really, that's wonderful. That's how I keep myself grounded. Mm -hmm. That's how I keep myself not, you know, just not giving in to all of this stuff going on, you know, and, and, it, and it's, it's really helped me out a lot. That's yeah. wonderful. I love that statement. Whatever you do in life, it starts mm -hmm. with you. It starts with that you. It's so important. And the way that yes. you look at life and the way that yep. you look at things is, is the way that things are going to be. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. That's it. That's exactly. It. You're a great guy, Kevin. And I'm going to say also, you have a beautiful and wonderful woman in your life. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure it yes. helps to keep you perked yes. up and, and, you know, that's oh, yeah. kind of this position. It's, it's wonderful. Oh, yeah. So, Absolutely. Yeah, you know, we, we have to approach life from a from a positive. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. We really very do. positive. I think yeah. it's, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. what is the thing that you're most looking forward to doing when the pandemic is over? Uh, oh, taking him to the Ford Museum. Because he wants to go and to, like uh, to the Ford I Museum really, and really. to... Uh, uh, the, the Motown, Motown Museum. Museum. Oh, nice. Yes. So a trip to Detroit, a road trip, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because with us, it'll be local. It's all about, but I mean, I like stuff like that. I like even even the Smithsonian. I really would like, I like museums. Mm -hmm. really yeah, good. that's, that's wonderful. Cool. Well, when you guys take that road trip to Detroit, you should stop by and see me in Michigan. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. right. Ooh, yeah, that's we had right. So much fun. Yeah, yeah, we have. Yes, you guys came up and visited. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you should stop you by on your way fun. up or on your way back, whenever you would, which whichever direction you're going. But please let me know when you're going because okay. I. Okay. And hey, you know it's funny you said that, Greta, because I was before we came on, I was I was thinking about your play. You and Ed's play, I was like, man, that is so nice. Peaceful, got the lake, man. You can just. Very nice. Out. Man, it was awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you guys came and I'm glad you enjoyed it. I think oh, yeah. Jennifer's going to come this summer and bring her family. So I'm oh, hoping oh. that it is oh, just cool. so, yeah, it's so, um, it is just very oh. relaxing. I'm here now and I'm sitting oh, yeah. here looking out okay. over the lake and it is just, it's, it's really, it's a different world. It's a different world. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I want to thank you guys for being with me today. This has oh. just been a wonderful conversation, yes. guys. Thank, oh, you, for thank you for having really us. Absolutely. Uh, well, I'm going to call Jess back, see if she's got any questions for you, Jess. Okay, okay cool. 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 I've got to say, I think that you're on to something with singing and Uber. Yeah. I, chimed in in, <laughs> I chimed in in the chat. I, I actually had uh, one um, one Uber driver one time that was a uh, a freestyle rapper. Oh, wow. and That's yeah, and he uh, he asked me like, I don't even remember. He asked me a couple of questions as we started to drive and then asked me if, if uh, you know, if I if I wanted to hear him do something, I was like, sure. And so he fluidly incorporated everything that he had asked me into wow. his rap. And I was like, yes. oh, okay. Yes. So like yes. after the call ride was done, I now follow him on social media and like wow. whatever. And of course, like, you know, when that ride's over, you're like, not only did he drive me, but he like, he worked that ride. He entertained from top to bottom. Yes. So of course, when you're like done with that ride, you're like, well, clearly this person needs to be monetized for like all of the skills they brought to their ride. <laughs> Not just getting me from A to B, but like everything that happened in between. You That's know what right. I mean? That's right. That's so right. I feel like, I don't know, Kevin, you might be taking some requests soon if you know what's good for you. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I do, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. yeah, but you just have to start singing. 
you know, yep. and then say, oh, right. you know, you sing, do you know, blah, blah, blah. Why, of course. And then you start. <laughs> <singing that. laughs> That's right. Good. I think, I think there's something to it. I don't know. There might yeah. be something there. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> How would you um, have to drive over? I can. <laughs> you could you could be a passenger and provide harmony man you know make it a two-part piece right that would be great um val wants to know speaking of that she wants to know do you both sing and perform together as an actor have you yeah oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. we do a lot of stuff mm -hmm. together yeah all the time mm -hmm. how far back when did that begin how far back does that go oh <laughs> You know, know. When, we, when I first met him, maybe, what, 13, 14 years ago. Mm. How we met was, uh, we met in a recording studio. Joe's recording, Joe's recording studio. Joe Kitty, yeah, really? Uh, yeah, we did background because we always get projects and everything. We did background because he always hired us and everything. And, and I didn't you know, know he was interested in me. Yeah, right. Oh, right. Well, how could he not be our lad? How could he? <laughs> <laughs> well, then who who made who made the first move? He I did. say I did. I did. Okay. I the first move. He, he What'd would, you do? He would run up to my. He would walk me out to the car and then he would run up to it real fast, open the door, and then he'd throw some money in my hand. I was like, What? I said, You take this back. And I said, I don't need it. He said, No, go buy you something to eat. See how? And I was like, Oh my God, why is this man doing this? Because I was like, <laughs> And like, money is the universal language. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> to Georgia and came back because I met him before I went to Georgia. Mm -hmm. So when I came back, I came back at church and he was, he had spoke to me, him and Joe, because yeah. Joe found out I was back and he said, hey, I like, I want you to come on back and we're going to do some studio stuff. And I was like, okay, okay. So then he was there. He was like, you know, I've been really praying for you. I said, oh, you have? Yeah. I said, oh. Yeah. I said, oh, okay. But I had no idea he was going to propose to me or anything. I was like, okay, this is a little soon. But, um, <laughs> oh. it, was, it was so cute. It was so yeah. funny because he yeah. took me out there on some lake. I went with me. Oh. It was over on right at um, 95th and, um, you know, right where, right where the Skyway is over there. I, oh, I yeah. think it's 95th Street Beach. Yeah, yeah. it's so oh. Beach. And I was, he was like, I want to marry. I want to get married. I said, "You want to go away?" <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. So it was. It was. It was fun. It was so funny. I was like, I went. I had to go and consult because I was like, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I mean, I really, really care about you and everything. And it wasn't a bad thing at all. It was just I was confused about some things. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, okay. So I, I had to pray, and then. Everything, it was funny. I wrote this thing about what I wanted my husband to be like because I just got out of a first divorce. And I was like, okay, so I wanted this. And then, and then I put the thing away. So then he says, hey, would you like to go to church with me? I was like, cool. Uh -huh. That's on my list. Hey, check that off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can go to Bible study together. I'm like, what is that? That's on my list. I'm oh, like, that's great my list or something but uh, I think mean, they had to put on the list and put it down uh, I was like oh wow. my god I said that's enough okay god you 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 have told wow. me exactly who my husband should be and as I said okay we can get married because that is so wonderful oh my gosh yeah, you know you should <laughs> this is my second marriage my first wife we were married for like 32 years but mm -hmm. she unfortunately passed oh I'm so sorry. you know great wife great yeah. wife and everything. And then it was a time, it was a glow time in between. Mm -hmm. And I like always, you know, I love being married. You know, marriage is wonderful. Yes, you know, it's it wonderful to, to have a person that you can mesh with, you yeah. know, things with, and, and, um, and, and, the door, and the God opened up the door for her. Okay. And, and then, like I said, and it was crazy because it was through, you know, just us doing what we enjoy doing and saying, 
That's and great. Like I said, I've done background, I've done a lot of stuff with Joe doing background, working on the studio. Mm -hmm. so That's I'm, great. So what, what better place to meet? Is that is me. wonderful. And there she was. Oh. Right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is fantastic. Well, Arlette, I think you should write another book about this story. There you this go, a Hallmark movie. Oh, oh, there you go. I love it. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that was pretty. Interesting. Some of the best stories are true stories, right? That's there you right. go. True. That is absolutely right. true. Yes, yes. Well, you guys, thank you so so oh, much. Oh, That's so what a wonderful great. story you have. You're you're delightful, and oh. and you can, you can see the the um the light in each of you. From the oh, other. Appreciate it. Uh, guys, we, we so appreciate you guys. We yeah, appreciate uh, you all so us very all much. This was cool. This, we had so much fun. Oh, this was good. I'm so glad. So, cool. Jeff. I'm going to give it to you to, to close us out. Yes. Thank you guys for being with us, Greta. As always, thank you for hosting this hour with us. Right. It's been great Oops. to sit with you all. Uh, to you all watching, we will be announcing the next series of guests shortly. So keep an eye out. If you haven't, like I said, subscribe to our newsletter. Now is the time to do it. Head over to our website so that information will come right to you. And we look forward to chatting with you on a future Friday. And Greta, Ooh. I'll see you in the coming weeks. Sounds very good. Thank you, Jess. Right, Everyone Jess. have a and wonderful day. I'm going to send weekend. you the links, Jeff, Greta. I'm going to send you an email. Okay. That's so. great. That's oh, okay, great. Cool. great. All right. Have Thanks. a great weekend, right. everyone. Be safe. Yeah. Be well. Bye, Bye. Bye now. Yes. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye-bye. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this was fun. See what I mean? This was cool. Yeah. Bye.